in this video, I'm going to go over all of the websites that a beginner and advanced trader should be using to do their due diligence and how I find my stocks. Some of the stocks that I found in the last decade via these websites and the way I do my research, I'm gonna show you have done tremendous gains. I'm gonna show you those quickly. And a little bit about myself, I've been trading the stock market for about 16 years. I'm 33 years old. I served in the US military active duty over 10 years in the US Coast Guard and the Navy, everything from finance to rescue swimmer, search and rescue, an engineer, uh, everything, pretty much you name it. I love doing a lot of jobs. I'm also a film director, writer, and producer, uh, business owner. So I've done a lot, okay, but I have invested since about 2006. I even started my first YouTube channel January of 2006. Uh, I was posting videos since then, so I love doing this. So uh, this is not financial advice. Please hit the like and subscribe button below. This is financial vision, pretty much financial visualization. And this shows you the overall market. Now, what I like about this is you can see not just the one day performance visually, just everything there, but you can go to a three month, six month, and it pretty much will pop up everything. So this is very beginner, but you can also see world markets as well. The one day performance, the three month. So this website's really cool. This is a visual. Everyone always asks, where do you have this? Well, this is where it's at. All the links will be in the description below for everything. Everything pretty much is free, you can see. Uh, but it's really interesting to have uh, just a quick visual. I really do like this. So this is the first thing. Now, before we really get into this, I wanna show you. So a lot of the stocks that I have traded in the past uh, five plus years, I've done my research on, and this is proof here when I first posted it. Some of them are three or four years ago. But ever since, the stocks have ran a lot. And I, this is how I found these stocks. So Tesla, GameStop, you know, I called the short squeeze on uh, GameStop and AMC, both. Um, you know, Uranium stocks called that bottom. And this is how I do it. I'm plugged into the market. I really enjoy this. And these are just some of the gains that some of these have done. So you can see that. I just wanna show you guys this before we really jump into it. I track all, you know, if you follow my channel, Uranium stocks is really the biggest runners, I think, in the overall overall market in 2022 coming up. So I track all of them. I track everything about them. This is one of my sheets. Um, and we'll come back to this in a minute, but there's a lot of stuff that I track and this is all, you know, data that's out there on the stocks. It's instantly updated. So you can really keep track of your stocks this way. You don't have to do uranium. You can do other things, but that is one thing. The big thing that I do is track uranium stocks and all stocks through Google Sheets. And this is one of the ways I really have kept track of all my trades, uh, my research and due diligence. Now I'm gonna go through all the websites now. So one of the, my favorite websites out there is Trading Economics. Now this website has a lot of data visually as well that I really like. So let's just go in here, natural gas. Uh, this one is up almost 800% pretty much for the year. It's breaking records. So this is pretty nice. It tells you exactly why. You can go back to old charts and look at that parabolic move. Uranium is next, by the way. This also has you know information on stocks, the world market. And a lot of this data, I'll show you in a minute, I've been pulling into my Discord and into my sheet. So that's really a one-stop shop, my Discord. That's gonna have everything. I'll show you in a minute eventually what that is gonna entail. This is something that I really love using, which is Twitter. So you can just literally obviously go look up a hashtag. Most people know this. You can also look up a stock ticker and those will all post. Now, today has been a very red day in the market. So you see a lot of people probably complaining, you know, checking their research. And these are days I really like to do my due diligence. Again, confirmation. I don't even worry about the market. It's a long-term trade for me, but you know, Twitter's really good for that. A lot of people, uh, it's underutilized sometimes, but it's a great place to find that. So I do like using Twitter. The next is annualreports.com. This is a great website to find these annual reports. And this is probably the most important thing an investor should be, you know, whether you're an advanced investor or beginner, is reading annual reports on the companies that you look to invest in or you just wanna do research on. So this is Deep Yellow, this is a Uranium developer. And these are some of the annual reports and I've read pretty much all of these uh, and this is a great way to find them, okay? Annual reports are gonna tell you everything about the company and this is a great website to find them if you can't find them on the company's website. Uh, this is a, a website for Canadian companies for filings. This is cedar.com and this is where I'll search a lot of my uranium Canadian companies and you can put in the dates. And so energy fuels I put in here and you can actually see 
uh, all of them and download them. Now you notice all these are purple here because I've pretty much read every single annual report that a lot of the companies I've invested in or I'm interested in on. And as you'll know, you'll find out a lot of interesting stuff like Energy Fuels was previously named uh, Volcanic Metals Incorporated. So, you know, uh, the other thing is you could find out the website, you know, what it used to be uh, and what it used to trade at because stock tickers name, names and symbols change. So you can actually see a lot of valuable information if you're looking to do research. Now, if you can't find anything on it and say it was a different name of a company like Volcanic Metals, this is one of my favorite ways and I don't really see any investors really doing this, but this is the Wayback Machine. So you can actually search website history and you can search and see say what a, a stock like Paladin, this is the stock, Uranium stock that did 104,000% run. You can see what it actually traded that you can see sometimes download stuff from the stock itself and you can see that it was trading february 16th 2006 it was trading at three dollars and uh this ran to 950 or so and this ran 104 thousand percent in less than four years so this is pretty cool uh wayback machine you can do a lot of different searches and different days it takes a lot of time and there's more advanced but this is one way to get a lot of data that's usually lost on a company or a company that don't exist anymore edgar sec obviously you can search filings as another advanced you know type thing to search for filings for companies i did energy fuels here and it just shows all their filings if the company doesn't have it you can't find it on their website or something the next website I've been using for over a decade now, and this is uh, ADVFN, and this is more for tracking, say, OTC or Australian stocks or, or Canadian. And the cool thing is you've got level two here, and the level two data is actually very good compared to a lot of brokers out there. So I'll use this, and it's great for your phone, the API. I'll actually use this uh, sometimes to check the level two before I you know make a trade if I'm out and about. And this is great. I love this website. There's also a message board. It's the old school stuff how we used to you know do stock investment before twitter stock investment research before you know stock twits and all of these websites before reddit was really being used for this a lot of people use message boards you know for these companies uh and i like this website uh still i still use it you know decade plus next one this is for canadian stocks this is a great way to find information out about a stock it's another message boards type thing ceo.ca this is more for uranium stocks i've been you know doing my due diligence it's got cedar uh information that, that i just showed you um you know the filings that you find on cedar it's got them here uh you know insider buying trading uh selling it's got it there it's also got a lot of fud here a lot of people talk you know sometimes it's disgruntled investors this could be you know there's been actually people on this site this website that were actually work for the company you know and a lot of stuff sometimes gets put out there you got to filter through it but this is a good website i do like using it for uranium stocks for sure uh you do have to you can see all this but it's uh it's free for the most part there's extra added stuff you can buy but this is free it's pretty cool now the Australian version, and I use this for uranium stocks, is hot copper. This has been around for 15 years, and uh, this is great for getting information as well. But getting, you know, for these uranium stocks in Australia, I get an email whenever the they actually put out news or uh, you know the filing, and I'll get an email before you know. Usually, the company sometimes sends it out, which is cool, uh, but it can be delayed for U.S. investors versus people who are in Australia. Uh, it's a little bit delayed, but that's that's something I use for Australian stocks. I do like it. A segue into that is 61 Financial. Now, this is really cool. It's another free site, but this is great to do research on, you know, say Australian stocks, especially uranium. What I do like about Australia is they do more, uh, there's more transparency when it comes to who owns the stock filing. So in Australia, they show like a lot of the insider ownership uh, specifically. And even if it's a hedge fund in the US, they have to report here. So a lot of these funds that you know about say uranium funds you can see what they're trading what all the stocks are trading so like exchange exchange traded concepts llc they have paladin uh boss resources 
They've got Bannerman. They've got Sprott. Physical Uranium Trust. They've got, hold 6 million shares. Uh, that's actually something new. I've actually not seen that. That's actually, you know, this is the first time I've seen this. Uh, they hold about 6 million. So a lot of these, a lot. that's why you saw Sprott, I think, sell down a little bit is I think a lot of people got in, a lot of firms, and, you know, they might be doing ta tax loss selling or getting rid of some profits depending when they got in. So that's pretty interesting. I love this site. Now, in Australia, they have to report. So even if it's, like I said, a uranium hedge fund in the U.S., you know who some of them are. You can see what they're trading at. A lot of them are trading here uh, via this. So, um, you know, here's a, another one. Um, this is they're trading Paladin. They've bought and sold Paladin, Deep Yellow. Uh, so, you know, there's a there's just a lot of uh, a lot of good information here. Uh, and like I said, it's free. Not a lot of people know about this. And uh, I do like that Australia is more transparent on that. But Deep Yellow, this stock, I really do like. They actually show the top 20 shareholders on their website and update it like pretty much daily. 69% uh, of that float is locked up. So that's pretty interesting. You know, so that's why that stock, I think, is going to do really well. Another website sometimes there's a lot of fud it's a lot of memes and stuff but you can see stock twits i've been you know posting here for almost you know half a decade but you can find a lot of good stock tickers here you can keep track of them uh the website itself like like i said there's a lot of like commercial spam sometimes but you know there's a lot of good stuff and you can see me I, i've been trading here uh, what I think I actually made a couple other accounts, but this is the one I started to actually post a lot on was 2017. But uh, yeah, so like it's it is a nice website. I do like this. You can see I post a lot of my uranium stuff. The next one, this is a uh, Red Cloud uh, Securities. Now they cover uranium specifically. That that's the one reason I like them. They uh, you can like join their website for free, and they'll sometimes have really good interviews with CEOs. Now the companies do pay them these uranium companies to cover them, which is you know whatever you know people got to make money. But these analysts you know give you pretty good information on on uranium and stocks. Now all the good stocks aren't you know from uranium aren't necessarily listed in here. You know, it's the ones that management pays, uh, you know, for this. It's a good website. It's a good website for something, you know, like uranium that doesn't get a lot of coverage. So I like that website. Uh, this is another one. It's mainstream, but it's Bloomberg. You know, I, I use utilize Bloomberg to, you know, listen to see what the overall market is. Uh, Bloomberg Green, you know, I really like visuals. So this is really cool. I like the way Bloomberg puts out information obviously they're very bullish on uranium uh you know nuclear power so uranium is obviously bloomberg has talked about it so that's pretty interesting uh another website well wisdom this is one that you can do uh research on to see about insider filings and you know if you haven't found the information on the other websites this is a good one and then finra another one if you're looking up debt for the stock this is another one i use like I said, all these websites will be in the link description below. Insider analysis, this shows you a nice visual of insider transactions for stocks, I like this. OTC markets, this is a big one. If you're trading any OTC stock, you gotta be searching on here. It'll tell you if, the, if there's a problem with the stock, it'll have it here. Uh, OTC's really cleaned up in the last few months since September because of uh, the new rules and listings. Now there's a lot of uh, you know financials disclosure in here that you can go in about the stocks. Some cool stuff if you go in here and you go down into this and there's the uh, certification. You can actually see how many shareholders. There's one point, uh, 161 million share float. And there was almost, there were 6,200 shareholders, 6,200, and that was June 21st, 2018. Now when this, when they get the certification and updates, it'll be updated more. First, I wanna show you one of my favorite things, which is Discord. Now this is my Discord here. Now Discord is like a, it's my Bloomberg terminal basically, is what I call it. And I, I harvest data here, uh, have a lot of big investors. My buddy here, Lewis Morgan, he's created a billion dollar company. He has hundreds of millions in the stock market. He's here. A lot of uh, investors with millions of dollars in the stock market also are in my Discord. Um, a lot of people, new investors, Investors made a lot of money but what we do is we harvest a lot of data here so I instantly get Google alerts a bunch of different alerts I have bots that scour the internet for uranium and stock information I pull it in here as you can see it's you know pretty much live data will come in here uh, we also got Twitter feeds coming in, all the best Twitter feeds specifically to stocks we'll have in here. And then you don't have to filter through all the spam. You can just get it all. And if they delete it, you still have it. And what's great is you can search. So say I was in here and I wanted to search, uh, let's see, uranium. 
this is mo two years plus that I've harvested data. There's 26,000 posts and visuals with uranium in here, okay? And that's pretty interesting. So uh, you, can, you can look up anything. Whatever you wanna look up, search it. We have that in here. Also, Michael J. Burry, if he deletes his stuff, back in the day, you can actually search through it. It'll be posted here. I mean, we have everything from BBC, Zero Hedge. I, I harvest all this data. My portfolio's in here. Uh, we have livestock chat we have uranium price uh, my uranium stock sheets that i just showed you that's where that's what we have in here there's just so many different things in this specifically i really do like fidelity's charts now, this is active trader pro now their charts i've been using them for years a decade pretty much and i really do like them i like the aesthetics of them they're simplistic but they do have a lot of technical analysis you see all these you know chart gurus out there that have all this stuff there's all these indicators look at all these you can literally just put them in nowadays and find out something about a stock but i like to you know also see historical charts now, remember I showed you the Wayback Machine, sometimes the stock will have splits and the stock say it'll, it'll say it was trading at $9, but maybe it was really trading at a dollar. Paladin was one that was trading at $9 then, it ran 100,000%, 104,000. But as you can see, we're just beat down on these stocks. Now, I really do like, like I said, to utilize these specific charts through Active Trader Pro with Fidelity. And I like to keep it simple. I have like 10 to 12 chart patterns that I look and use head and shoulders, cup and handle, all of those things I utilize, okay? Parabolic curve. And really, I try to keep it simple. Like people will try to say like, oh, there's this or that. But really, I utilize it to see if there's volume, see how the stock traded, see what it traded on news. You can utilize this for the news. When I'm looking at a stock, and this does not just mean uranium stocks, I'm going to do a big deep dive into the stock, into the sector, and uranium is really tough, you know, for the most part to figure out, but I've done that all pretty much for everyone here. Um, now, if you look here, these are the things that I look to see if a company can grow. So capital allocation, so how will they spend their money? CEO and management with skin in the game, these are things I look for. Acquisitions, can they do acquisitions? You know, are they going to do mergers possibly or, you know, how can they grow? You know, are they going to grow their cash flow? Uh, are they going to have a positive cash flow in the future? Uh, and how can they do that? Smart leveraging, managing debt. You know, that's uh, one thing that I really look in the stock. You know, do they have debt? How have they managed debt? And I really do research in the past on those as well. Um, you know, no dividends. I really don't like stocks with dividends. These are to get my hundred baggers, hopefully, you know, someday. Uh, no stock bu or stock buybacks. You know, if this, they reduce shares and buyback stock, I really think this, this is very positive. Minimize taxes, obviously. You want them to be smart. Uh, decentralized organizations, you know, specifically for uranium, it's multi-jurisdiction, you know, less mining risks like say those in the US or some places in Canada you know you have less mining risks sometimes in like you know Namibia there in Africa places like that but multi jurisdiction is always good cash flow focus you know is the company looking at what are they going to do with the cash flow or the money they have coming in you know, are they going to use it wisely or are they going to blow it? Uh, you know, getting into production cost location, you know, that's specifically for uranium. These are some of the things I look at. So this company, Deep Yellow, all of their management was at Paladin. That's the company I told you that did that 100,000% run in four years. Now, Deep Yellow is pretty much better than Paladin in all of these areas. Now, Deep Yellow is right here in this orphan phase. They're getting into production, into development, and then startup of the mining. And then, you know, they're going to get into long-term contracts and production. Now, Paladin was over here. It was a lot younger companies, smaller, and it did that massive run. But things I look at is, you know, the float. What's the free float? I told you earlier, their 69% uh, is held up, the top 20 shareholders. So it only leaves 30% of the float. Uh, you have 8,000, by the way, shareholders now uh, and 186 with over 100,000 invested in the company. That's me as well. I do. Uh, CEO skin in the game, 3% at 12 million shares. John, same CEO when the 100,000% run did, he had about 3% too. Uh, they had half the shareholders at you know during the peak during that time, half the shareholders. So we've got a you know same place. Say the, they're looking to mine. Uh, they're looking to project about the same uranium. This is without any acquisitions with the company. Uh, 
and they have a, an offer out to with Vimy Resources. Can contracting, can they get highest contracting prices with these utilities as a producer? Paladin, they actually did it way too early. They locked in sometimes lower prices. Uh, they had too much debt. Uh, interest rate risk, you know, Paladin had, they don't have that as much. The share price is way less, you know, about 60 something cents right now. Market cap is way lower. Look at the market cap, you know, almost like four times lower. Uh, just to get back to their, you know, 2000, that's actually 2007 market cap. Uh, you know, 1800% upside, uh, the, you know, the 2007 market cap is a few billion. So 1800% upside, uh, their resources, they have the PPM, they have more resources now than they started off with then year of life of the mind, how long it can last way longer. Now, uh, the shares there's way, there's actually less shares. They have more cash on hand. Now their production to start in three years, just like they did, uh, back then their grade is a little lower. They have only five, 95% of the mind ownership and their total resources is slightly lower than they were at Paladin. Now, if they do this Vimy uh, merger or if they merge with another company, these numbers will all go green. They'll be more than this. The PPM will be more, the ownership of the mine will be more. And these are things I look at in a uranium company, the management. Can they do all of this? Can they start to bring in cash flow? Will they get into production? This company's, this leadership, all of the leadership was here. They got into production, the stock ran. Now they're here at this company, Deep Yellow. And they're way past this sell-off phase. We're in this orphan period coming into development. So that's really interesting. That's how I really look at uranium stocks and overall stocks. The same thing can apply. Shareholders float, you know, management skin in the game instead of, you know, production. It's how much, what are the, you know, what are the subscribers? You know, if it's another different type of company, you can look at the same thing. That is how I found some of the biggest runners like all of these. And you can see, I actually did post those on stock twits way back in the day, you know, sometimes three or four years ago, back when the price was way lower on all these, I called the short squeeze. I called all this, uh, but this is not to toot my own horn. This is to really encourage people, encourage you to do the due diligence, track your stocks, track them. Uh, if you want access to this sheet, uh, there's a link in the description below too, to my uranium sheet, my Patreon, uh, as well as the discord. And you can track all this stuff. I, I track everything in the company, how much uranium they have, the price it was, where it can go, you know, the resources that they have, the valuation, even the amount of shares I've done for a lot of the stocks, how many shares they had back in the day, the market cap. And I'm adding to this daily. And as, a, as an investor, you really have to continue doing research and due diligence because when the market looks red like this, you gotta have that foundation. And whether you're an advanced investor, because there's a lot of people out there that are have all these degrees and they don't even know a lot of this stuff or they just you know stick to what they know. And you really should, you know, broaden your horizons. There's so much information out there, whether you're going to Twitter and you're just looking up, you know, whatever the, you know, whatever people are saying about stocks or whatever it might be, you can utilize that or you're looking at annual reports. These are just super important things uh, that you gotta look at. When you're looking at the overall markets, I mean, look at commodities uh, overall. That's why we're invested in uranium. Look at the year to date in these commodities. Look at some of these thousands of percent, you know, in the next year, if these continue to go up, thousands of percent runs in the stocks associated with them. Uh, and if we get over, you know, 100, 200% run in uranium, those stocks, I think are going to 10 X. So these are things that I look at. And like I said, discord, discord is one of the biggest ways you can, uh, you know, data mine, research on stocks. You know, we're talking about stocks in here daily. You got a lot of big investors in here and a lot of new investors just looking to, to trade the markets. And, uh, you know, a lot of them have done really well. 2022 hopefully is going to be the year for you and stock trading is going to be at all time highs with the markets, hopefully, especially uranium. Now uranium price got to go up soon. So, uh, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button below. All the links will be in the description below. And, uh, if you enjoyed it please give me a comment and share this video i put a lot of time into these and i just gave you all of my secret information and you know all the links to how i you know discover socks so hopefully you enjoyed this and until next time